I'm Steven, and you're watching Steve Love Science, and we're here in my garage tonight because I've just finished building my homemade do-it-yourself fuel hood. So, um, the reason why I decided to start building in all this little chemistry area in my garage and build the fuel hood is because I want to do fun demos with you guys and be able to do chemistry experiments that would normally be frowned upon if I did them in a research laboratory at FIU. So, I know what you're saying is, Stephen, why can't you just do your experiments at FIU? And I'm saying it's because you don't like it. And this is only for research activity. So, in order to prevent that, we built a fume hood here. Right here is a centrifugal fan from the Home Depot with a CFM of about 250, so it's blowing out of air at about 250 cubic feet per minute. So, that calculated, there's a formula to calculate. Um, the velocity of a fume hood is measured in FPM, which is feet per minute. So when I ran the numbers and did the calculation, I found that this hood is 90. And the recommended range of FPM for fume hoods is about 80 to 120. So we're within that range. So right now we're going to go ahead and test it using some dry ice. Now, dry ice, when we put it in this cup of water, is going to produce a fog, which is water vapor that's going to be condensing into a fog. And now I'm going to test how strong the hood is. Okay. We can see that without the fan on, the fog is coming down over the side of the, edge, of the hood, past the front, it's coming out. But now we're going to go ahead and turn the fan on and see how quickly the fumes are taken care of. Alright, so the fan is turning on. So we can see that all the fog is now going to be sucked up and extruded through the top of the hood. Now eventually we're going to hook this to the back of the garage so that the fumes are just blown directly out of the area. So I'll post the specifications of this hood in the video for those of you who want to build their own because it did take a while for me to figure out how I want to do this but now I can just um, show you how I did it and hopefully that will work for you. So we can see that about by now um, there is no more fog coming over the edge of the fuel hood and it seems to all be being sucked up. Okay, thanks for watching.